right, so check it out. I'm in the DJI booth. One of the interesting things over here in DJI is what's missing. There's actually no uh, GoPro booth anymore, but uh, DJI is here. They keep innovating and they've come out with what they call the Ronin S, which I will show you guys right here. There's a whole bunch of them. I'm going to grab this one. So it's like a single-handed single, single -handed camera stabilizer that you can see there. I think there's going to be two different ones. So this is for your heavier cameras and that's got some serious weight on it. And then there's going to be a lighter one that you see here in, on this postcard. Um, so there'll be a lighter one that you see in that postcard that uh, for mirrorless cameras. They don't. I don't think they have that here right now. So these are all prototypes. I'm gonna try to see if I can talk to someone and show you guys what's going on here. But I get some like video for you. Um, so first we'll talk about this guy. It's super, super simple. So if you're not really good for wheels, this is the tool that I really want. You throw these just on a regular tripod of your choice, whatever you want to go for, your combo sensor. You can fully control the room from here, all the settings that you want. I'm here with Soren, which is one, the most badass name <laughs> that I've heard in a long time. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. How'd you get that name? I don't know. Father? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Is he like a fan of, uh, you know, Danish folklore? Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Something like that. I'm thinking Lord of the Rings or something. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the S1, that's brand. This is a prototype, right? Yes. So uh, what can you tell us about it? Okay. So this is the latest prototype of Ronin S, and we've been trying to refine the structure to make it stiff and strong, so that the gimbal performance is guaranteed. So. Currently, we try driving a fast-moving car with this on, on the top of the car, and we can go up to 75 miles per hour with an ordinary DSLR kind of payload. We're trying, actually trying to uh, find the upper limit with an uh, even faster car and an even heavier payload. So I'll keep you guys posted after we've done it. Okay, cool. So there's, so honestly, there's not a lot of details right now, right? Yeah. Honestly, uh, on prototypes, there's nothing can be finalized. Yeah. But there are something that I can uh, surely tell you guys about it. Is that uh, this thing is coming with a sport mode. Okay. So it allows you to pan a camera as quickly as 400 degrees per second on a pan axis, or you can tilt it on the uh, tilt axis on roll axis as much as uh, 360 degrees per second. So basically when you trigger this uh, uh, sport mode, you, you can easily do the wind pan for transitions wow. and you don't need to worry about losing track of a fast, uh, fast moving subject. Just like this. And you're in it. Right. right. So you guys don't know price point yet. Don't know. This okay. is the uh, prototype that we're closing up to final. Right. We're soon to be able to know that how much it would actually cost for you guys to purchase. Right. And you assume you're going to be able to release them, what do you think, in, in, within this year? Or? Uh, the actual plan is that um, by early May, we're going to be able to announce uh, pricing and availability, like when you can, you guys can start a purchase in early May, then we will start shipping as soon as we can. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's good news. And I think, are there going to be two versions? Um, I saw on one of the postcards back there that there's a mirrorless one. Yes. Uh, okay. The mirrorless one is currently being designed. Okay. Like we went through uh, several batch of changes and we're not satisfied with what we've been here with the mirrorless version, but we're satisfied with this standard so DSLR this, so version. So the standard one is getting released first? Okay? Yes, this one will go out to market first. Yeah. So if you wanted to, if you have a lighter mirrorless camera, you can get this if you don't want to wait because it's going to yes. be able to handle both, right? Yes, uh, yeah. the standard version actually can handle a mirrorless camera as light as Sony Alpha 6300 okay. with a standard like 55 millimeter kit lens. So I don't think there is a problem that uh, if you're using a mirrorless camera such as uh, GH5 and Alpha 7 S2, there's no problem at all to mount and balance and stabilize on it. Okay, awesome. All right, thanks. I mean, you know, you got some good details thanks, out of Sora in there, I think. All right, guys, so uh, there you go, DJI, yes. and we're calling it the Ronin S1? No, just Ronin just S. Just Ronin S. Yes. Ronin S, coming out soon in May. Stand by, look out for that. I think I'm going to have to get one. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah.